What's good, peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, let's do this. Huey Fury versus Alexander Povetkin. What chances do you give Huey Fury? Like, where are we here? Um, this is a percentage thing, by the way. I give Huey Fury... I have to be honest, when this fight was even spoken about, I said that... What did I say? I think I said something like Povetkin would decapitate him. That's what I said. A um, bit harsh, but that's what I said. Um, when the fight was announced, I gave plaudits to Huey Fury, but I still said Povetkin would kill him. So I said decapitate and kill. I can't give Huey Fury more than... By the way, I like Huey Fury. I, think, I actually think Huey Fury is a very, very good boxer. In fact, that was one too many varies. I think he's a very good boxer. Um, I just still think there's a lot left in Povetkin. I really do. Um, that Povetkin that fought Joshua, there's a lot left in that guy. A lot left. Um, so I give him... 15% chance. In my head, I was thinking 20. But I did say decapitate. So I'm going to say he has a 15% chance, I think... Of beating Povetkin. Um, Povetkin is a nasty boxer. I actually think that Povetkin, stylistically, is a horrible fight for Huey Fury. Horrible fight. Uh, he won't run. He won't run. He will stay in the pocket and he will work. And Huey Fury don't like that. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. Because Huey Fury likes to fight on the back foot using his jab a lot. Likes to slip move outside of range, all that kind of stuff. Povetkin is just going to walk him down. Povetkin will literally just come to fight. Povetkin isn't the kind of guy that will stand off and have a boxing match with you. He just won't do it. Look at his fights. He's a horrible, horrible man. Um, he, he will come to try and kill you. And I just don't think that Huey Fury has enough in the tank, enough tools in that bag. I always talk about, I always refer to what have you got in your tool bag. He doesn't have enough tools in his bag, I think, to beat Povetkin. I, I, I don't. Um, in, in saying that, Povetkin, last fight, he got stopped. He got knocked out, right? We, we all saw it. It was, a, it was quite a vicious knockout as well. I mean, how has he recovered from that? Maybe he's done the right thing. He's taken nearly a year off. There was a lot of talk about him versus Usyk and him versus Michael Hunter. Um, even rumours about him versus Tyson Fury. You have to admit, out of all those options, Huey Fury is the easier one, right? It, 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 much, much easier. Um, so maybe he's looking at this as a just as a kind of a warm-up stepping stone fight, maybe, right? Uh, you know, I'll get for Huey Fury, easy fight, make some money in the UK, and then fight someone else. I don't know, maybe fight the winner of um, Joseph Parker versus Jezora, maybe. I, I don't know. I just don't see, if you're Huey Fury, how you go from fighting a Canadian bouncer, that's what he was, a Canadian bouncer, to Samuel Peters in an embarrassing fight, to them fighting a killer in Povetkin. I just don't see how you make that jump. Right, every time he has stepped up, he's lost. Pulev step up, lost. Parker step up, lost. I know some people feel that the Parker fight was close, still lost. Um, that's why I was calling for him, and that's why I was surprised he took this fight. But that's why I was calling for him to take a a guy in the top 30, 40. Right, so we know where you are, and then you can take this jump. I just think it's too big a jump, and it's a jump he didn't need to do. I applaud him for taking the fight, but I don't think he needed to take this fight. So I, I'm definitely going with Povetkin to get the win again. What's left of Povetkin, we don't know after that knockout. Um, he was a guy that was on PDs. I don't care what anyone says. I think, well, he got caught, didn't he? So what's a guy that, A, not on the PDs anymore, B, coming off a big knockout, and C, quite a long layoff? I just think Povetkin is um, a dangerous heavyweight for anybody. Anyone. Tyson Fury, Wilder, or anyone. Because um, he doesn't want a boxing match with you. He just wants to come and kill. And that's dangerous. I mean, you've got to have something to put a dent in him. Joshua was able to do it. Wilder probably could do it. Anyone else, he's going to come and come and come for 12 rounds. And Huey Fury doesn't have the punch. And I don't think he's got the experience to keep him off for 12 rounds either. So I'm going for Povetkin. Either late stoppage or points. What do you guys think? Let me know. Peace.